with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. My eyeball! I was literally looking at myself just then. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Yeah. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes read your intentions I also inject an NCPD file search run into any ne'er do wells <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well <laughs> fair enough an database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner since all are wanted dead or alive the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you <laughs> Oh, oh, my hand. Work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I do. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Thank you very much, mate. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What is what it? What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Okay, fair enough. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Okay, that was a bit of a bloody upgrade. Guide up, you idiot. What's taking so long? Move your ass. Uh, what's taking so long? Move your ass. Dex is waiting on us. Well, Dex can wait a little bit longer. Uh, Jab with your left. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Oof. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. I noticed he had like a, I think like a boxer or a tattoo on his arm. And is that some sort of like boxing belt over there? Oh, I just noticed. Trophies. So you're you're an Xboxer then. Oh, well, that's actually pretty cool. Miss it, don't you? That's uh, really cool, actually. How's Biz going? It's really well. Uh. Can't complain. Awesome. I like Corporal's that. I really like that. Distance and Saka's back hiring lone mercs. They all got to have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Can I interact with you? Doesn't look like I can, unfortunately. Now I can just read this rather than taking it. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take anything from from uh, Vic. 
But I will read it. Left jab boxes monthly. Kazuno Kano, uh, Ronin from Osaka. Uh, sorry, Kazuo, not Kazuno. Uh, Kazuo Kano... Uh, Kano's name is on the lips of everyone in the boxing world. The up-and-coming light heavyweight remains undefeated after 20 professional fights, 17 of which were won by technical knockout. Some accuse uh, Kano of, drop, uh, of doping. Others say he has connections with the Yakuza. While training in Night City, the light heavyweight was allegedly seen receiving guests from Japan in his gym. Afterwards, they were seen being carried out of the gym unconscious. Wide scars have been visible near uh, Kano's ribs for the last three fights. Local Ripper docs say the scars definitely do not look like an appendix removal procedure. Will Kano become the light heavyweight champion of the world? We'll see after Malone takes his revenge on Hernandez. Let's have a look if there's any other law in here. But after doing it such a solid, I'm not going to take anything from him. Nope. That is very nice, but nope. Optical gas mask. Would be nice, but once again, no. Nope. Alright. But I really like the details of the uh, the trophies on the wall there. That was actually really cool. Mad gear. There we are. Another certificate. Certificate of participation presented to Victor Vector. Second place. Heavyweight class. Fourth open finals. Watson Boxing Grand Prix. Harriet uh, Boner. <laughs> Organizer uh, Keishan Roberts, NCBA President, April 3rd, 2061. Ah, good. Ethical kleptobini. You don't steal from your friends. Hmm. Everyone's gone. Hello. Alright, let's have a quick look. Cyberware. Can I see? Oh, I can in install this. Allows you to see the precise explosion. Yeah, sure. Let's pop that in. Has this got any room for mods? Mods are available. Okay, fair enough. So it's a Jackie. Now let's have a look at my uh, options. Paid in full. I don't know how many rippers who'd install Kenoshi Optics on credit and faith. In fact, I only know one, Victor. Maybe once you're on top, you don't forget about the old guy. Pay the man what he's due. And uh, more, besides, if I'm able to. Alright, on the note, on that note, though, we're going to have to get out there and have a look around. Why is this? Oh, right, it's uh, pointing me back to that particular job. Uh, let's flick over to this one more gig. Moderate. Hmm... The ride. High risk, high reward, as Dexter Deshaun likes to say. First rule of afterlife. So this is it, B. Time to go in. Grab the bull by the horns and make a name for ourselves. But first, let's hear what Dexter Deshaun has to say. Alright. Does this actually go anywhere? I mean... See... <laughs> He's still talking! Oh, that's so amazing. Reptilians! I like I can't stay because I don't want to spoil the game for myself. Just wanted to say that me and uh, <laughs> me and crappy wife will love your YouTube vids. Oh, crappy gamer! Yeah, well, that makes sense. Though, what an unfortunate turn of phrase. Um, very relaxing. Have a damper stream and thank you. <laughs> Take care, mate. <laughs> thank you very much for dropping by. I am like I'm just stopping by to use my Prime sub and thank you. My wife has been very sick uh, in hospital. I'm really sorry to hear that, mate. Um, your streams and YouTube vids allowed my kids and I great distraction. 
Uh, you can't afford the cheese or the gifts. Up. You never have to apologize or, or even reference that. It is not expected. Um, but please accept my deepest thank you. And gratefully received. Thank you so much. I've got CDDA on my new computer. It keeps trying to figure out where to launch. What do I use? I have no idea. I have not installed the latest CDDA, I'm afraid. A lighter. I will take this. Oh, my lord. So many things. Many, many things. Cards. Wontons. Ah! It's constantly trying to drive me over the edge of things. Stupid mantling. But yeah, I'm sorry, um... Sincerely, cl uh, clone. I'm not sure where you'll need to to install that to, uh, or, or or how to set all of that up. I haven't played with the latest launcher in well uh, at all. So, um, perhaps someone else in chat though can help. Oh, good call. Let's drop a quick save. Rare item components and uncommon item components. I will take both. Yes, please. Thank you. Sniper rifle ammo. Ricochet weapons. Power weapons allow you to control the direction a bullet ricochets if you have ballistic code processor cyberware and the trajectory generator mod for Kiroshi Optics installed. I see. Check that out in a moment. Uh, Max Dock Mark 1. Rosary. Many, many odds and sods up here. Bounce back. Okay. Beelzebub's tales to his grandson. Beelzebub. Okay, let's have a look at that. Even before our arrival, many beings in Babylon had lost their minds over this subject, while many others were inching closer to the same fate. The burning question of the day. The question that wrecked the brains of both pitiful scientists and normal beings of Babylon was this. Do we have a soul or not? There were all sorts of the most fantastic theories on the subject, with new ones appearing all the time, and each and every one of the tempting hypotheses had its supporters. Despite the overwhelming number and diversity of these beliefs, they were all based on one of two completely opposing premises. The first was called atheism while the other was idealism or dualism. All dualistic hypotheses held the soul existed and, of course, that it was immortal and could suffer many things even after the death of the, of the being. Meanwhile, the atheistic theories held the complete opposite view. In short, my boy, when we came to Babylon, we came upon what we could only be called constructing the Tower of Babel. And the Solar's Manual by Morgan Blackhand. Intro. Think you've got what it takes to be a legendary solo, huh? Sure you do. Otherwise, why pick up this book? You're looking for respect, for fear, for a way to be on top. Maybe you heard someone quote me about winning battles with only a glance before a single shot's been fired. Well, fine. I'll tell you... I'll let you in on a secret. It is possible, and you can do it too, but only if you've got the guts to survive going to hell and back more times than you can count. Thousands of fights, millions of bullets, hundreds of gallons of blood, yours included. That's what you have to look to forward to. And you'll need a solid ripper, one you can trust, one you make a lifelong uh, chumbatas out uh, You make a lifelong chumbatas out of. One who tells you every week a miracle you ain't dead by now. At least that's what he'll say, if you're lucky. Nowadays, every kid with a big iron, a sin leather coat, and a micro-missile launcher thinks they're a hotshot solo. You know what? Just because you killed a few goons with a smile on your lips don't make you one. Anyone can kill. I knew this rocker boy once who blew up a whole platoon of corp trash. Did that make him a solo? No, it made him dead. So, so think you've got what it takes to carve your name into solo history? Good. And this book's for you. Okay. 
Now it is our book. I wonder. Yeah, I can just distract it. Okay, and down we go. Ooh, womp. Take care, Kenneth. Thanks for dropping by, buddy. Rapjillions! Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. But they are not <gasps> human. But then what do I the best? And your aura it needs tending, baby. You've gotta brush it daily. Oh wait, this is too misty. I'm reading her emails. That is not okay. Make sure your hands I do apologize. Are clean and caress the v, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. Okay. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Okay. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of okay. cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Mm -hmm. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. That is interesting. They're basically recreating the crime scene over there, it looks like. Incapacitating enemies. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, and non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. That was actually kind of cool. That is really interesting the way all of that's going down. Can I talk with you? Something ain't right. Doesn't look like a. Oh, what? What just happened there? An illegal activity such as theft or attacking civilians will result in the NCPD placing a bounty on you. The police will send a patrol to the crime scene, and the strength of the response will be proportional to the size of the bounty. To lose the police, move away. Why? I. What? Uh, what on earth just happened? I have no idea. Uh, how's that netrunner is trying to yeah okay let's just reload I have no idea what just happened there death penalty for crossing the line I think we chest bumped a cop or crossed the line yeah uh, thankfully autosave just kicked in so that's fine don't you know putting the toe in the crime scene is punishable by immediate execution? Duh. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. This, this is a uh, society. Okay. 100% uh, geared towards justice. The sort of justice for which there is only one punishment Listen, for any I've got this delicate crime. And that is death. You. The number of cyber psycho attacks Don't bring in, in your library book, death. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this Jay issue matters death. to me for a few reasons. Spill your tea, death. That one's fair. Cyber psychosis can be treated. But still death. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. 
Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Barely, barely Ill illegal. What? Uh, so what? I'm not even. I'm Am I surprised? No. Uh, side job. This uh, won't make any major headlines. What's in there? Reptilian! Reptilians! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity. Uh, wouldn't they just use contact lenses? If it's such a big giveaway, won't they just install optics or use contact lenses at least? If it were only so simple, they are reptiles. Their nervous system isn't compatible with human cybernetics. Then why not have their own rippers invent some? Are you sure they haven't already? Uh, well, and I mean, where did you said that they did that. Out so, from, you I... ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! <sighs> Those bloody scallywags over on Alpha Centauri. They need to stop meddling in our affairs. Oh no. Oh dear. Your eyes I've been spotted. That your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so uh, that I may continue my mission? I. I'm just going to encourage you, honestly. Everyone deserves to have the fun that is listening to you. You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Radio waves bear the truth. Enjoy, Ko. <laughs> right, right, so, where was the side job? Oh, Rupert Darkrai, okay. Dex, we've got Brad William Buren track, my vehicle, drop point, weapon shop. It's all sorts of stuff going down. I kind of want to get involved in some of it, at least. Um, how about, right, zoom in, zoom out, move, jump two, jump two. There we go. I can, in fact, lay down just random things. Marvellous. Now. Oh, this is fantastic. I approve. I approve of being able to just wander around like this. Oh, actually, I'm not fine. No database entry. The criminal record does not exist. Or you do not have permission to view. Very well. Anyone else? No record. That's fine. I would not say no. Ooh. Oh. Wanted in Night City. Murder of corporate rep. Slander against a corporate rep. Kidnapping for ransom. Bounty class three. Those seem to be more dangerous than I really want to play with because the amount of stars I need to uh, put into that is quite a lot. Uh, sorry, the amount of RAM for anything there is quite a lot. So I'm probably going to avoid that. How about you? Uh, no, you're, you're, I believe, a uh, police netrunner. Yeah, I kind of want to get over there and have a look. I 
I wonder if they'll react to me being me away. I guess there's only one way to find out, really, but... Yoink. Ooh. I'm totally not going the right way, am I? No, I am really not. It does matter. I've got no... 20 street cred. Okay, you are 100% out of my league, my lord. What the dickens was that flash? Sounds like there might be just a big old fight going on. Oh, my lord. Did it just get downed by something? Okay. Yes, they are being. Just shot. By whom? I don't know. Ah, that's what the shot... The... The flash was. Flash grenades or something. I mean... SC20 again. That can't be street cred, then. I, I, I must be getting that wrong. I must be getting this wrong. I was stealthed them for a few moments, but no longer. Okay, you're right at that. Is there loot here that I can now grab? Uh, yes, it appears that there is. Uh, well, that's worth coming down here for. Bits and bobs. Okay, you're still alive. Well done, you. You lucked out. You, not so much, though. Little bits and bobs all over the place. Oh my lord, this place is like Luther's Paradise. Only problem is... It's looter's paradise. And I'm compelled to loot it all. There's no way I can afford to, though. Like the legs. Uh, I'll be taking the food. Thank you. Kindly. Most of them are alive still. Interesting. You're <laughs> just there like, yeah, I've got my hands up. It's fine. Twenty points of rep. Oh right, right. Uh, but the the street cred is probably much like my XP. Requires a certain amount. I thought someone just climbed into the bin. Uh, requires a certain amount to actually uh, increase my uh, street rep. That makes sense. Uh, are you okay? Oh, I see. That's just a uh, radio. Okay, well, let's have a look at the items I just picked up. Okay. 
Can I take this out? Yes, I can. Okay. Power assault rifle. Power assault rifle. Now we've got submachine guns. Commons. All commons. But the one that I've got is is, is better than this, so... Uh, so, yeah, the one I've got is not as good as this, rather. Okay, well, I don't see any reason not to upgrade. I think I'll keep the katana I've got, just for those times when I want to um, get into hand to hand. <laughs> really? Polycarbonate sports sunglasses. And then we've got a protective... Uh, Gilt polymer and biker goggles. I'm so tempted. So tempted, but no. No, not today. Thank goodness that that is not better. That's all I'm going to say. Otherwise, I would be inclined to. Okay. Okay, that was kind of interesting. That was not what I was going to, though, which is uh, even more interesting. Oh, I was really close to death. So, do I ask for this or go steampunk? Yeah, exactly. It's so, so tempting. Can I help you in any way? You look like you're in quite a lot of pain, actually. Uh, hopefully the police will come and help you, because it doesn't seem that I can. Ow! What? Oh, barbed wire, perhaps? Okay, I'm hurting, so let's go ahead and... Backpack? Have I got consumables? I do. Uh, sure. Chomp. Hopefully my... Yeah, there we go. Health is regenerating. Only mind me, just crossing the road. Oh, I do apologize, didn't mean to. You end up smacking into people ridiculously close. All right. Here. All yours. Knew I saw good in you. God bless. 